What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's look into three altcoins right now that are my picks for explosive growth. Um, we're going to be talking about Jasmine, XRP, and Notcoin. Now, a couple of these have been big movers recently in 2024. I'm going to get down into this where we go over some of these cryptos that I'm keying in on. These are just three to name uh, a few of the big altcoins on my list. Um, there is a complete list that we do talk about here on the channel. So if you are new here, uh, that's okay. Make sure you guys all like and comment uh, down below. I want to know what cryptos you guys like for 2024 and for 2025. Make sure to leave a comment down below with those picks. As always, though, please remember, guys, not financial advice. These are just my thoughts as it e equates to my views in cryptocurrency. Always do your own research and due diligence with everything crypto and financial. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get talking about it. Let's get down into it. Uh, and like I said, guys, make sure you all subscribe right down below and let's talk about these crypto picks. Okay, but before we do, I want to share with you guys kind of what is going on in the market. I was looking at some meme coins earlier, and now we're going to dive into uh, these these three cryptos as we look into the first one. We're going to look into Notcoin right here, ranked at 85th uh, in the top 100. It's having a really bad uh, kind of uh, day when we look at the rest of the market, 5.1% down, uh, but we have had a 7% gain over the month where we do look at that high of a 1014 in terms of one cent. And now as we've given up that zero as uh, sitting at an $815 million market cap, let's get into some of the reasons why Notcoin is one of the picks. Okay. And the first one is uh, the gaming rewards within Notcoin. Okay. So uh, that is something where you look at the charts and you can understand what they're able to do, right? This is a Telegram. Uh, this is the Telegram fun game that started out as a concept, but now it has introduced a lot of people into the world of Web3 uh, and earn rewards by playing games and exploring Web3 products, okay? So very interesting narrative, something that I have not seen uh, for quite some time in the crypto space. And we all know kind of what went down with the, uh, the legal troubles within Telegram, uh, but still a, a very, very big top 100 crypto that has a lot of room to run if they ever can get off the ground. And that is something where it does not really require a lot of the technical nature uh, to understand what they have to bring to the table. Uh, if Notcoin can gain some traction in that realm, I do see them set up for some growth as we look into kind of their chart. And you can see kind of where Notcoin is headed. All right. But the, the next one we're going to talk about, and we'll save the best for last, uh, this is Jasmine. Okay. So Jasmine sitting at 77th in market cap, it is just a tick literally as close as you can get to a one billion dollar market cap uh, they are in set the 77th spot as i did talk about at 02024 uh, in terms of the price up 3.8 percent though on the day and if we look at jasmine over this month uh, the last 365 days and really just kind of the last few months uh, it has since sold off but getting as high as that 04115 so over a 523% gain for Jasmine uh, since taking back that zero uh, when we were trading at a yearly low of 003251 so there has been some concerns with insolvency with Jasmine coin I do hold Jasmine I do not plan on selling it I think what they're bre uh, brewing up in Japan and you see the executives from Sony and now being part of that Japanese government structure I think Jasmine Coin does have a lot of room to run, uh, in my personal opinion. We'll talk about why as we get a little down this list. And you can see right here that Jasmine, as we all know, the Tokyo-based Jasmine Corporation is who is backing Jasmine Coin. Now, what they are looking to do is controlling personal data. Now, they're going to combine blockchain and the IoT to create a safe space to manage and trade information. Uh, just like when we connect our phones, cars, and computers, you can connect and share data without needing uh, the trust factor. Now, um, that's a huge hurdle to jump through because I am kind of paranoid with all my personal data and privacy. And Jasmine has a very strong utility to it that I think that, like I said about earlier in that narrative with the whole Sony Co Corporation and the executives within, uh, Jasmine is set up for some success. If they can somehow get their legs moving uh, and get away from that whole, you know, the Asian markets and that and that complex nature that lies within crypto regulation. But Jasmine is, is targeting the IoT, and that is where they're going to provide a lot more utility and decentralized storage uh, for that securing of the data that Jasmine kind of has the most utility of, of any crypto that we really talk about here on the channel. And that's kind of why I bought it in the first place, okay? I, I trusted kind of saying, hey, if you could build Sony to be what it can be, why not Jasmine Coin? So uh, we hear about partnerships and, and alliances and, and strategic 
uh, maneuvers within kind of navigating crypto and evolving uh, the, the crypto landscape in terms of just what coins and tokens try to do to further that direction. But Jasmine coin is that's the reason why I bought it in the first place. So I am bullish on Jasmine. We know we have some of that insolvency uh, that went on and, and just the deflationary uh, nature where you know, the price of Jasmine became, I, I should say, inflationary nature, uh, where it came super inflated. We lost a lot of value and since has almost done a reboot of sorts where Jasmine looks to continue its run up. I know it's a long ways away from all time highs, but still uh, Jasmine coin sitting here in the top 100. It's relevant to me under a billion dollars right now. Uh, so I wanted to bring up Jasmine coin for you guys, because I do think that as crypto evolves and more people get into it and adopting crypto, uh, it is one where it's close ties to the Asian markets there in Japan, I do think has a lot of room to run uh, for the future. Okay. And then last but not least, let's talk about the big boy that is XRP because it is sitting in the top 100. Now, why is XRP important? Well, let's look at it and we can talk about the chart. And I've told you guys um, over the last two and a half plus years, the steady up channel that we have seen for XRP. It's nothing that you're going to see on this chart, but if we pull up the trading view, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. As I have this blue line kind of indicating this upward channel that started basically back in May of 2022, just when all of crypto sold off. Well, uh, XRP did get as high as uh, a little bit under. It started a wick up close to a dollar, did not get to a dollar, but it did kind of settle around that 86, 87 cents before selling off but we have had this upward channel kind of acting as a nice little floor as we look at this upward trajectory it's not it's not something of magnitude it's, it's pretty much subtle if we look and, and really have to zoom out to see it but i do think xrp right now at 56 cents what their legal troubles are inside the sec and uh, the courts have really been kind of battling this topic for for quite some years right now and i think it's something if they can get out of those shadows and into the future i do think xrp has a lot of leg to run on um, and getting back to one dollar or even close to that uh, is not going to be something I think out of the realm of possibilities for the intermediate future. Okay, um, that's just kind of how I look at it. Uh, the biggest thing going for them, and if we talk about it a little bit more so, um, is kind of what Ripple looks to do with cross border payments, right? Um, via the XRP ledger, I've talked about it uh, pretty much ad nauseum. If you go to send money uh, from one place or another, it's 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 a lot of legal hurdles, and that's one of the uh, solutions that crypto does provide. So removing those barriers for financial services um, are going to allow for a lot of access to funds without having intermediaries such as banks to get into the way and really aim for that seamless uh, and efficient international payments. Okay. The biggest thing going for XRP right now is that they are 90%, 10% um, located outside of the United States. So as crypto regulation in the United States start, continues to evolve, I look for XRP to get a lot of run uh, and maybe even getting outside of the US. That's been a big talk within XRP. Uh, we know what's happening with the RL US their stable coin that they're creating, looking to rival the likes of Tether and uh, USDC uh, backed by Circle. So that's going to be an interesting one to see develop. Uh, there was just a recent... Um, development within XRP that I did do uh, a video on talking about how the XRPL, the ledger, um, is going to be now uh, integrated within MetaMask. So allowing for a lot more transactional volume for uh, XRP as well as XRPL. So um, that's a good, good catalyst moving forward as well involving the Ripple XRP blockchain. So I wanted to share with you guys kind of what's going on within all three of these cryptos, uh, Toncoin, Jasmine, and XRP. They're kind of in their own way, unique from each other, but in, in in the same way, they do have something in common. They are three cryptos that I believe that are poised for success within the altcoin uh, world. So I felt relevant to make a video to discuss these three cryptos. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, this is the exact time where I want you guys to all subscribe down below. Totally free to do so, but it does allow you to keep up to date with what's going on in crypto every single day right here on the channel. So with that being said, I'll let you guys go. Appreciate you watching. Uh, subscribe for more. and We'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.